If you've been following the Winter Olympics, you must be aware of Camilla Valieva and the deep waters she has found herself in recently. In a shocking revelation, the 15-year-old Winter Olympic star was tested positive for a drug that is prohibited for athletes. That started a whole debate, and on top of that, the court recently cleared her for sports. So what was the drug Camilla tested positive for, and how was she allowed in the Olympics again? Keep watching this video to find all the details of what went down for this Russian Olympic star. First, let's talk about Camilla Valieva. Belonging to Russia, Camilla has earned quite a name in figure skating. Yes, the one done on ice. We would have to make another video only to talk about her awards and achievements. She is a 2022 European Champion, 2021 Ross Telecom Cup Champion, 2021 Skate Canada International Champion, 2022 Russian National Champion, and 2021 Russian National Silver Medalist. Also, she holds a number of world records. She has set nine world records during her career. Damn, she is just a 15-year-old. Valieva became the first woman to break the 270-point barrier for the total score. She also broke her own record at the 2021 Ross Telecom Cup by over three points. So how can an athlete this brilliant be tested positive for a drug? Let's go through the facts chronologically. The International Testing Agency, which carries out doping control during the Olympics, collected samples from Camilla on 25 December 2021 during the 2022 Russian Figure Skating Championships in St. Petersburg, Russia. On February 2022, the WADA accredited laboratory at Stockholm, Sweden reported that the sample showed the presence of a prohibited substance, identified as trimetazidine. With this news, Valieva was immediately suspended by Rusada. The fact that the reports came back after more than a month, also when the Winter Olympics were already started, has raised many eyebrows. Why did the results come so late, especially at this point in time. Do we smell a conspiracy? There's so much more to this story than what is on the surface. Before we wear our Sherlock hat, the results came in late because there was a COVID outbreak at the laboratory. No, oh, that is a better explanation. Coming back to the story, what exactly is trimetazidine and why is this banned? For my friends who hated chemistry in high school, trimetazidine is a fatty acid oxidation inhibitor. It is used to treat angina and other heart-related conditions. It works by an enhancing blood flow to the heart and restricting rapid swings in blood pressure. Since 2014, it has been on the World Anti-Doping Agency's list of prohibited substances. In exertional sports, it could potentially help an athlete perform at a higher heart rate for an extended period of time, even under significant stress. That pretty much explains the ban. It's really a tragedy to see someone as incredible as Camilla getting affected due to this banned drug. Did the teenage rebel in her encourage her to order off the internet? But with someone who has such a promising sporting career, this sounds somewhat unbelievable. Did she find it in her grandpa's stack of medicines? Or did someone bluff her to take it to recover from some illness? Or did she start taking it because a 15-year-old couldn't handle the mental stress that comes when competing in a global sport? Guess we'll never know the real reason why trimetazidine was found in her system. But the 15-year-old teenager definitely suffered the brunt of consequences after the news became public. She went on suspension amidst Olympic Winter Games Beijing 2022 and was at the risk of losing her sporting career. People and Olympics enthusiasts all around the world had mixed reactions to this news, from supporting the young figure skater to complaining that Russian doping had once again damaged the reputation of a major sporting event. Also, just to add to your information, the doping controversy is not new to Russia. This is not the first time that Russian athletes have been accused of doping. In 2014, Russia deviously damaged the integrity of the major sporting event when federal security services agents swapped steroid-containing urine samples with samples of clean urine. And how did they do this? By passing through a mouse hole. The scheme is so devilishly smart, I still don't know whether to laugh or cry. Even after this incident, Russian government officials and security services agents were found multiple times to manipulate the samples of athletes. This is clearly wrong, as hundreds of athletes compete fairly. And that is the reason that the Russian anthem is banned in the Olympics. But should we relate the repeated Russian doping practices with Camilla Valieva? Another unanswered question. Guess what? The story does not end with her suspension. On 9 February 2022, Camilla Valieva challenged the decision of suspension before the Rusada Disciplinary Anti-Doping Committee, and a hearing took place on the same day. The panel met for almost six hours, hearing testimony from Valieva and collecting evidence from other witnesses. On the evening of the same day, the Anti-Doping Committee decided to lift Camilla's suspension, forbidding her to continue her participation in the Olympic 
Winter Games Beijing 2022. And that is how Camilla has slapped the world in the face. The decision sent shockwaves all around the world. The court cleared her for competing because she is still a minor, known as a protected person in Olympics jargon, and hence follows different rules from an adult athlete. Any decision made at this point could have the potential to completely destroy her future career. The focus of any other investigation in the future will be on her coaches, dietitians, and healthcare professionals. While this may seem good to you, there's also a bad side. While Camilla was cleared and allowed to play in the Olympics, she will still not get a medal ceremony during the games, nor will any skater who ends up in the top three with her. That's quite unfortunate. This decision has affected many, particularly those who had no part in the controversy. The United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee said in a statement that they were devastated that U.S. skaters will have to leave Beijing without their medals, but still, they appreciate the intention of the IOC to ensure that only the right individuals are awarded medals. The International Olympics Committee now says it will organize dignified medal ceremonies once the allegations of the young figure skater have been resolved, whenever that may be. After all this fiasco, Camilla Valieva skated off the Olympic ice with the lead in the women's short program on February 15, 2022. Despite performing effortlessly, the young Olympic star could hardly hold it together and burst into tears, which were far from being happy ones. Everyone could see how the stress of doping and mistrust had caught up to her in the icing rink. She ended up earning 82.16 points, more than eight off her own world record. How truly amazing. The final decision for the young athlete will only be made when the full case is heard, which is expected to be after the Olympics 22 ends on February 20. Given that the legal process for this case is not yet concluded, let's hope for better for Camilla Valieva. While we're on the topic of the Olympics, here are some other news pieces coming in that might interest you. Chinese teenager wins gold in snowboarding. The 17-year-old child actor turned snowboarder, Su Yiming, gave China its second gold medal at Big Air Shugong with a stunning show on Tuesday, 15th of February, 2022. Su scored a total of 182.5 points, including 89.5 in his first run and 93 in his second. He has now become the first Chinese snowboarder to win gold at the Olympic Winter Games. The dominance of pretzel fans. The fans of Nicole Schott adopted a truly unique way of supporting her. These Germans made sure that everyone knew about one of their country's culinary delights as they cheered for their figure skater holding a giant pretzel. Sofia Gogia won silver despite injury. The Italian woman won silver in the downhill only three weeks after injuring her left knee in a skiing accident. Merely after 23 days of suffering partial damage of the crucial ligament and a small fracture in her left leg after a crash, Sofia Gogia still managed to bag a medal. How truly inspiring. The crash of a Japanese skater. The moment of glory for one sports person is often a moment of misfortune for another one. Canada won the women's speed skating dramatically as a Japanese skater slipped and crashed with her team leading. Japan was ahead by 0.32 seconds going into the final half lap and was on its way to being crowned Olympic champions. But Nana Takahashi got one of her blades caught in the ice, causing her to fall and slide into the barriers. How unfortunate, but the competitive pressure sometimes brings such results. While the Canadian team got victorious quite suddenly, it was quite heartbreaking for the about-to-win Japanese team, especially Nana Takagi. And that's a wrap for this video. What did you think about the doping controversy of Camilla Valieva? Do you think she allegedly took the drug herself for better performance? Do let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this. See you in the next one.